It's not surprising, being that it's people working together, collaborating, being close together. I think COVID or not, we should all be wearing our masks when we are we have a little cold or we're feeling under the weather. Where are you most likely to catch COVID-19? Researchers at Montreal's Concordia University created this. City RPI, a web tool they say, has found that the highest risks of infection are in schools and the office and with many heading back into the office and mask mandates for most public places coming to an end as of May 14th in Quebec some saying they will proceed with caution. I keep my mask but we have to be also really smart I think there's certain areas where you can take it off but just use the logic. This tool was first created two years ago around June 2020 and we started looking at evaluating airborne transmissions in Montreal buildings. Concordia University Associate Professor of Building Engineering Leon Wong and PhD students created the web tool. Here we search the interactive map anywhere in North America and it can help determine the risks of airborne infection in indoor public spaces. There are limitations, says Wong, like not taking into account the year of construction of schools or the maintenance level of ventilation systems in buildings, but he explains that the data his team gathered can help health officials, the public, to formulate the best strategies to reduce the risk of transmission. When we have, say, uh, a case or outbreak in the building and the chance of another person can get infected um, will be higher in offices and our building types. This is so-called conditional probability. Quebec's Workers' Board, the CNESST, reported five COVID-19 deaths in 2021 linked to workplaces. In the office, as in school, when social distancing is not possible, masks remain the best strategy, experts say. Even if we are getting rid of that uh, mandate, I don't believe that there's any sort of contrary mandate saying that people can't wear masks. And so uh, I would still say that both if you want to protect yourself as well as if you want to protect those around you, especially if you are working with people who may have risk factors. Uh, I would definitely try and practice wearing it if I do have a cold or runny nose or something. I've seen like my uh, my boss uh, having you know the procedures and everything in place in order to uh, keep everybody safe. I think if you're going to be in an office setting, you're accepting the risk. It's been two years. Everyone's got it. We're vaccinated. Time to move on. The major conclusion is. Each building is different, so it's very important to develop a customized solutions. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News. Next on City.